Hi guys, it's Eliza Jorgensen here, and I'm going to show you how I created this print for my course at Cerisa slash CEA. Um, so here I am beginning the print by carving on my linoleum. You can see I'm already, I've already carved a little bit of it, but this is just the second part in order to create more of the redness. And then I'm cutting um, my paper that I will be using for my final print. And um, as you can see, I layered the back with gold, and it's all about lining up when it comes to cutting, and it's very difficult, especially when you have nice paper, so you have to do a whole lot of it. Um, this is me actually cutting it on the cutting table, and as I said, it's really important to be precise, so I'm using the straight edge. And as you can see, the facilities are very spacious, and they allow for a lot of space, so I'm very gl grateful that I had this opportunity to work on this print here. And so I put the paper back in for later, and here I am picking out my colors that I will be using to print onto the, the image, onto the linoleum. Um, I'm debating whether or not what kind of red I'm using, and I decide to go for a little bit of cooler red so then I can mix it with more things. So I mix it with, with a white in order to get the opacity. Um, and the not see-throughness that just doing the red alone would call for. And mixing the white makes it a lot harder for things to mix. You have to warm it up. And here I am mixing it all together. And now once I do have the colors mixed, I have to um, spread it out and make sure that I have a big enough roller um, to fit the entire image. So here I am testing the roller. And I left this part in with the sound so you can hear what I'm listening for when I um, ink the roller. This like crackly sound and it's really important that you get that sound all throughout the entire inking process because if you don't then you know it's not inked well enough. And so here I am applying the ink and you can see that on the side some are getting off. Um, some of the pickup is picking up from the ink roller. So, in this next image, uh, here I am cleaning off that pickup with some alcohol. This is also a later um, part in the print, so I passed that red lines already and I'm just inking up that um, body. Now this is me showing how I have to make sure that everything is lined up correctly with that um, piece of acetate that I have on there and so I have to line up the plate itself with the acetate so then I can correctly put down the piece of, piece of paper um, for the inking process. And now I am put, placing the paper on top of that plate and acetate making sure that everything is exactly in place because if it's a little bit off then the entire image is ruined. I have to put a piece of paper on top so nothing transfers through the paper and put the felt down onto the roller and that gives it the weight and the stability uh, for the pressure to be evenly when I roll it. And then once I have all the felts down, I have to click simultaneously these rollers to make sure that everything passes through correctly. Just a waiting process, this is the hardest part. Anticipation. And here I am, slowly taking up the felt so I can reveal what I had. Printed. So once I take off the extra paper, then you see my actual paper and what is printed below, and I'm peeling it up. So satisfying. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for following along with me again. And I just want to make sure you guys remember to check out CEA and the Sarisa. School of International Art and Design um, online, so then maybe you can have the same experience as I do. I really love how this project turned out, and it took me so long to get to where it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Thank you.